Hi, Anthony. How are you? Hi, Cole. I'm doing great. What are you up to? I wanted to see if you'd like to build a mousetrap car with me. A mousetrap car? Yeah, I know you're probably not the biggest fan of mousetraps, but I think you'll find this to be pretty cool. All right, I'm in. What do we need for supplies? We'll need four wheels. And we had these just laying around the house, but you can use anything that's round or circular for the wheels in your mousetrap car. Okay. We'll use this cardboard as a platform or the body of our car. Got it. And then two straws, two sticks, and clips, and those will be the axle for our car, which helps hold the wheels on and allows them to spin. Axle. Huh. I learned a new word today. We'll use this ruler as a lever, which will help move our car. Then we'll need tape and string. Tape and string. And of course, our mouse trap. Keep that thing away from me. See what I mean? Don't worry. We'll be careful not to snap the trap on our fingers, paws, or tails. That's a good plan. How in the world are we going to put all these pieces together to make a car? Well, let's get to it. It's often easier to learn something by watching someone else do it first. Okay, step one, we're going to take the platform of our vehicle and we're going to cut out a little chunk at the back of it. Right in the middle. About like that. And then we'll take one of our straws and we're going to cut it in half. And then we'll take that half of the straw that we just cut. We want it to overhang a little bit on the edges of our car and then we'll cut it again. Whoa. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Now we're going to attach our straws to the back side of our vehicle, about right there. Perfect, now with those attached, We'll do the same thing on the front side, but this time we don't have to cut the straw in half. And now we'll tape this straw to the front of the car. Now we have our platform pretty much ready to go. So the next step, we're going to attach the ruler to the mouse trap to serve as our lever to help us move the car. Okay, now that we have the ruler attached to the mousetrap, we can attach the mousetrap to our car. That should do it. Now we can put our wheels on. Our wheels are kind of rubbing, so I'm going to cut out a little bit of space for them. All right, now the next and final step is to cut off some string that will attach to the rear axle and then to the top of our ruler. All right, there you have it, Anthony. Our mousetrap car is finished. Should we test it out? Yep. Okay, to get our mousetrap car ready, what we need to do is wind up the string on the back axle here. We're gonna wind it up as tight as we can go. Okay, once we have it wound up, we're going to 
take our lever and bend it all the way back. And then keep winding it up. Perfect. And once it's all wound up, we're ready to go. Woo! Let's test it out. Okay, count me down, Anthony. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! It works! Ouch! So as the force of the mouse trap moves the ruler, that pulls on the string, which is wrapped around the axle, and that makes the car go, right? That's right, Anthony. That's exactly how the mousetrap car works. Well, isn't that just fun and interesting? And the best part, too, is you can tinker around with different parts in the car to make it go further or go faster or really anything you want. That's the beauty of tinkering and having a little bit of imagination. Thanks so much, Cole, for showing me how to build this. Yeah. How about we clean this all up and then we can go eat some cheese? This has been the best day ever. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Anthony's Adventures. I hope you had fun learning how to build a mousetrap car with me. I'm sure they did, Anthony. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We're dropping new episodes every single week, all of 2025. And check out some of our other fun Anthony's Adventures episodes while you're here. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.